Hello! Another family's house. I'm making some arroz con gandules. Let's start with organic canola oil. Yeah, the, that was a cup. Okay, and we're using a cup because you're using a big pot. Oh, yeah, this is a big caldero. And then, I'm gonna do another one of this. What is that? Olive oil, organic olive oil. This is sofrito. This has two actually medium-sized onions, medium to large. Okay. It has three heads, large heads of garlic, one really large bell pepper, and it has an entire bunch, a big bunch of cilantro. I put this in the vitamins. You need a little water, a little bit of oil so that it blends. You could use a blender, and you can also use a uh, food processor. Food processor. There will be absolutely no measurements whatsoever. I just measured she it. She doesn't know any measurements. I just said it. You see that? It smells good. It does Damn, smell good. it smells good. I'm gonna take some tomato paste. Normally I would use an organic tomato paste, but this was very last minute. Okay, so you're going with Hunt's. This is 12, 12 ounces. ounces. I'm gonna use a half a can of tomato paste. For this particular pot, we got three cans of Goya. But if you can find another brand, so much better. Because he's a Trump supporter. <laughs> and then you add gandules, 15 ounce cans. That's two, water and all. And then we're gonna add olives, the um, pimiento in the middle. Although you can use acetuna con alcaparrada, which is olives with capers. So we're gonna put maybe... We're gonna put quite a few because we are olive loving family. Come closer so they can have a good look at the, how beautiful it is. Mm, looks and smells amazing. This is cumin. Because I'm not measuring it right now with spoons, I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of cumin. Now we're gonna add, I'm sorry, I don't measure, but this is equivalent to a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna add a third of a cup of salt, but it's probably gonna need more, but we will add it as we go. So right now, all the basic ingredients are here. I'm just gonna put the top on okay, and okay. let it cook for 10 minutes. If you've tasted it, it's probably salty and bitter, but don't worry about it. Because the flavors are gonna cook in. That's what this process is all about. All right, we got it. I'm gonna let this cook for 10 to 15 minutes at a slow flame. No water in here. You can see oil in the sides. It's just the water from the pan of gandules, right? And also a very small amount of water that was put in the Vitamix or the blender when I made the sofrito. So right now, I'm gonna measure out the rice. You can use short grain cow roast rice, which is what mom is. But I switched up to jasmine because it cooks faster. And it seems to absorb a lot of the flavor. We have one, two cups, three cups, four cups. Right now I'm gonna go with six cups of rice because of the size of that pot. But I may have to add more. See what I mean? There's no measurements here. It's just kind of like I I'm sorry. I got it like that. So what you wanna do is wash this rice at least two to three times until there's no more white on the top. Because that's the start, by the way, wash it in cold water. And only wash it right before water. you're getting ready to use it. Never do it before time because it will make the rice sticky. Don't wash it when you're like prepping the, the actual sauce. Oh, it's very cloudy and that's the starch in the rice. You want to get rid of that. But don't crush the rice. See, it's still cloudy. This is my third wash. If you look at this rice, it's not as cloudy anymore. Still a little cloudy, but that's okay. Get as much of the water out as you can, and voila. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, definitely more rice. So that's six cups. You're gonna do two more cups? Yes. Can you be as kind? As I'll be so water? kind. Oh, this is the important part. 
When you look at it, notice, look at the ratio of sauce to rice after you stir it. You see the difference? That's how you know. See that? And by the way, if you use a pot that's too small, your rice will never come out right, ever. Okay, so I put the top on it. The top has to be a perfect fit. It has to be. Perfectly? Oh, I think I dropped this pot, but it's close enough. Wait a minute. Okay. It should be no steam should be coming that out. That's perfect. That's a now, perfect. Now I fit. have see. Look at the flame. In the beginning, that's okay flame. Eventually, you're gonna want to lower that. Okay. okay. Do not over stir. Got Do it. Not under stir. It will not come out right. Stirring and adding more oil and teeny bits of water. As All right, you, go, you can show us that. It's as super we go. important. So, how long are we leaving it on right now? Right now, we're gonna leave it on for about 20 minutes. And we're not gonna touch it. No lo toca. Okay, got it. All right, okay. we're gonna wait for 20 minutes. I'm gonna do an email. Read it. It's been 20 minutes. Notice, see how this rice is. See how this juices are still on the side. Okay, this is when you turn <laughs> oh. for the first time. See, I forgot even. You go how the from the is. bottom around. <laughs> from the. Oh bottom around. From the bottom up. From the bottom up. Yeah, I don't think I did from the bottom. From the bottom up. But don't, if you have the wrong kind of pot, do not scrape the bottom because that's big out. And you don't want that burnt hard rice in your food. But because I'm using a caldero, this aluminum pot, which is bad for your health, but good for the food. Oh. <laughs> I noticed I went all the way around, right? But this rice still looks a little uncooked, so I'm gonna do that one again. That, okay, so that means that this pot has been where the fire was not. It's a bit red. So I turned the middle just now. You no, know, I think it's gonna, the color is gonna change. It is. Oh, it's been 20 minutes. Oh, oh I never did time it. Uh, see, that's how instinctive I am. Look, <laughs> I need a close up. I need a serious close up right now. Uh, Cecil, Cecil be the meal. <laughs> I need a close-up, Cecil. Okay, so. See how it's still a little juicy? That's how you want it. Now you put this on there. Always look at the pot, which I didn't do before. I, I, I confess, I screwed up. Look at the pot. I need you to look at the pot. Tell me what you see. It's sideways. Exactly. So we're gonna pull it because we need it. And if the pot is, heat. I have a pot that's almost twice as big as this. You I use two burners. Mm -hmm. Two burners. Oh, every three minutes or so, I should have been doing this. But I'm gonna, I've been drinking. I'm partying with my family. I'm a little distracted. Every three minutes, go like this. This pot still looks a little sideways. I think we need to bring it forward a little bit more. Look at it. Here we go. That's my jam right there. Okay. All right. You okay? Not too much. Just calm down. Not too much, okay? Remember, that's a lot of water, guys. Oh, see? We're all doing too much. You okay, Bliss? Bliss said no. No, no, no. I'm not okay. Oh my god, you guys look like you're dying. We are outside in the backyard. The kids are in the hot tub. How beautiful is the backyard? It's so nice to just hang out with family in LA. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but fun fact, oh here comes my aunt. Fun fact, I was actually born in LA. I stayed here for a while and then I was raised in New York. She's from New York. I am. And then she went to LA and she is a sellout. Like you left and you... Check this out, I tried to be a sellout, I really did. And I went to Costa Rica and I bought coffee and then I came to customs and then I said, oh my God, I left my coffee. And the guy said, you don't even have to show me your ID, just go through. The word coffee, we know where you're from. I couldn't sell out if I wanted <laughs> That was this, but you live in California now. But guess what? I'm bringing New York to Cali. I'm going, going back, back, back to Cali, Cali. All back, right. back. Well, I'm going to stay in New York, so forever, but I'll come visit.
Any chance I get, I'll come visit. Oh my god, I dropped the ball. I started talking and having champagne, and I've forgotten to do the rest of the rice. And she needs to turn the rice several times and add oil, and I, I forgot. I like forgot it. Yeah, I So we really, but all right, let's let's investigate. Let's check it out. All right, there's a huge bowl of salad here. Show us what you got. Right, rice and salad. Okay. Rice is a little bit. The color is a little tiny bit off. We like to judge the color in the house because that's just how we get down. Just a little tiny bit immobile yao, but it looks delicious. I could never cook a pot of rice as as well. It would be a mess. What do you think about the rice? Not bad. Not bad. All right, what, what do you, like, tell me. Very flavorful. Okay, it's very flavorful. Is there something that you did wrong? Or is there it would have been a little drier. So it's a little like emo royale. A tiny um, bit of royale, but not enough to make a fuss out of it. And it really does make a difference where you make it, how you make it, the equipment you use, the pots you use. Thank you so much for making us the rice. We love it. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. Rio is such a ladies like, he's so into the ladies. Hi Bliss. Bliss looks exhausted. She's tired. All right guys, let's call it a wrap on the family. I'm gonna eat and see you guys tomorrow. to be here okay great we are checking in we just got to the rosewood in montecito hubby is here we are waiting for angela she's going to be the third leg because she misses us so much we just got to the property we're gonna have some tacos and some drinks and just chill we don't have dinner until eight o'clock so check out the property okay railroad right here that's awesome <laughs> The property is so beautiful. I just hope my husband in these chancletas. Why won't he stop wearing them? So there is, it is a working train? Every three hours. Whoa. Every three hours. Oh God, this is a dream. in the middle of this place. It's pretty much like very serene and like just quiet and zen situation going on here. And then there's this train that's going on. It, it was just crazy, sorry. I can't, first of all, I can't see. And I had a few margaritas, so don't mind me. But this property is so beautiful. I'm gonna flip my phone around just so I could get a, a little walk through. We're staying back here in the bungalows. Look at, oh, look. Look at the mountains. And then check out how there is a Peloton and all of the exercise equipment outside, which is really nice. They have these little golf carts too that are nice. It is kid friendly. There is one side that has a pool for the kids and then um, another side that is just adult only. Look how adorable, it's just like a little community situation. I'm gonna get Angela on here a little bit later. It seems very bizarre that your best friend is coming on a trip with you and your husband. It seems weird, right? <laughs> so I wanted to explain that just a bit. So the thing is, is that me and Angela are very, very close. And I've been with my husband for almost 13 years now. So it's like we're just one little family and my husband and Angela are very close. So she's family and we all want to spend some time together. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. You know, it's 
in a nutshell. So she has her own room. So me and my husband are staying together. She's staying in her own room and we're kind of just hanging out and having a, having a blast. We only were here for just one day. I have to get my kids back tomorrow. Um, so we're just gonna go to dinner tonight, probably lay out, have some fun. And my husband loves to be alone just as much as I do. So he's probably like, oh good, I could go sit in the bar while you and Angela go talk each other's heads off or something. I'm gonna go shower and get ready for dinner. Oh, I didn't show you the room. Let me show you the room as well. Since this is a very short stay, I wanted to show you the room really quickly. Now, this room was supposed to be Angela's room, but we ended up walking over here and taking her room by mistake because there are two queen size beds instead of one king bed for my husband and I. So we walked over here and I was like, you know what? I just want to stay here. So I decided to stay here because the room is really nice and it has that little garden outside. And I'm obsessed with this huge closet. And then the bathroom. Oh wait, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Hello? Hi Matthew. Okay, yes, and we are in 8C, so she's gonna go to 261, perfect. Okay, no problem at all, thank you so much. Okay, bye. Okay, that's Angela, she's here. All right, back to the room tour. And this is the tub. My husband said he wants to take a bath. There's no way, I, I don't think he's gonna fit in here. Um, beautiful marble shower, and then the twin mirrors. Little um, vanity section, chic. And then we have this area, which I love. I love that you can kind of just come right outside and you have this little garden area. You can enjoy your coffee. All right, that's it. That is the room tour. Angela is here. Surprise, surprise, our third wheel. You know people watching this are going to be like, that's weird. Why is she on a trip with her and her man? I know. <laughs> but I said that it's... Okay, no problem. I said it's because you're like family, so it's totally normal. But she brought her child. I did not bring my vlogging camera, but we are on our way to dinner. We are in a golf cart. Angela's super loud. Where are we at, by the way? Trayloon. What is it called? Trayloon. Trayloon? Loon, L-U-N-E. Trayloon? Trayloon. You have an attitude. I don't like it one bit. Is it a video or a photo? It's a video. Can you tell me what you're eating? Branzino because I'm on a diet and this is day four. You're cranky. She's cranky because she's on a diet and it is day four. My husband is here with two beautiful women. You are so lucky, sir. So lucky. The other three women did not show up. The other three? <laughs> uh, are you going to pick up the bill? Who's bill? What is that? Oh, scallops. Okay, my the rest of my food didn't get here. I'm getting uh, shrimp parm. I want shrimp parm, which is coming right now. Yes, thank you. I mean eggplant parm, not shrimp parm. All right, it's time to eat. All right, I had to switch to my phone. We are just getting back to the hotel. We got the uh, house car was kind enough to pick us up, but here we are. All right, kids. Wait, do we have the golf cart to you take us back? Yeah, it, does, it takes us two oh, seconds to walk. Yeah, but we have on high heels. What happens to the golf cart? So there's no golf cart? So do, do we go this way or no? Hello, how are you? Hello. 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 <laughs> Why do you have to make fun of me all the time? Yeah. Oh, for the day. Got a little outfit of the day. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Good morning. Have 
having a little bit of breakfast. Sorry, I have some food in my teeth, but I just want to say good morning. We are going to leave the hotel today, but first we're gonna lay out, enjoy breakfast. The whole crew is here. She's on a call and he's headless as usual, but we ordered a bunch of food for the table. I'm actually surprised that he was just gonna relax and then head back around three o'clock today. To go pick up the kids. Dinner will be ready. He did it one week. Yeah. Like really, like positive reinforcement. So that started. And then it went out. He just started acting out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I am in Angela's room and I grabbed Yoshi. Look how cute. They put a dog bed and they put little bowls. Angela is in the building. Look, so Angela is the one who got the king size bed and we got the two queens. So my husband and I are old school style and sleeping in two different beds, which to be honest, I kind of like the space. It feels really good. You want to come with me? You want to come with me? Auntie Let's go to the pool. We only have two hours before we get kicked out of here. You ready? All right, this one's gonna work. Look at those notes. <laughs> All right, today's dress is brought to you by Zara. These cute little Prada shoes. And then Naomi Osaka is in the building. <laughs> Sponsored by Nike. <laughs> oh, look at those calves. Damn. Mm -hmm. You're playing that tennis, girl. Play that tennis. 